provocative. Over objections that women lack the necessary physical stamina and that co-ed combat assignments would degrade discipline and unit cohesion, the U.S. government recently lifted a ban on women serving in combat. Here in Israel, women have always been on the front lines. Bakhtiv was given unprecedented access to Karkal, one of the Israeli Defense Forces co-ed combat units out on a training mission along the Sinai border. We're doing a foot patrol now on the borderline to check if there were any penetrations at night. We're checking the water passes beneath the fence. The Egypt-Israel border is a very dangerous place. In the IDF, women have real power. They call the shots. And they take them. They stand shoulder to shoulder with men, in training and in the field. But being capable of fighting side by side with men is not something unique to women from Israel. So, I shot here and here. Any uh, pointers you can give me? Okay. <laughs> Natasha is from California. I always had a really good nostalgia of this place, and I believe in the cause, and I'm really Zionistic, you can say. She's one of the hundreds of foreign-born Jews and Israeli expatriates between the ages of 18 and 24 who join the IDF each year. And increasingly, more and more of them are girls. I pretty much dropped everything. I moved from California to Israel to become a soldier. I decided that if I'm going to go for it, if I'm going to be a soldier in the IDF, I'm going to do it all the way. I'm going to be combat. I'm going to go to the highest level that I can go. At the beginning, it's really strange. You know, girls are weak, and yes, they can do things that combat guys can do. And here in Krakal, you can see that they can do. In order to get into this unit, you have to go through a lot. You don't just mark off on a piece of paper, hey, I want to be in Karakal. You have to go through a certain amount of training. You have many chances to get out. And the ones that don't, the ones that really stay, yes, the women are more motivated. Military service is mandatory in Israel, and with good reason. This map tells the whole story. The country is bordered by millions of people who have made Israel's destruction a rallying cry. Israel has a border that it defends. We protect our people, we protect our culture, we protect our race. It's a gun, it's bullets. This isn't, this, these aren't toys we're playing with. This is real life, real stuff. <laughs> 